Thank you for having me. Hey, welcome to a very special edition. I said about every edition of Rock Fantasy Files lately. I get it's to sit down. I, thought, I, I, I wrote these notes earlier today. And I got to sit down with Terrence Hobbs, the lead guitarist of veteran death metal legend Suffocation. And we're also here with John McAtee, uh, my co-host, of course, from Incantation. But Terrence surprised us today because not only is he here, He's got the whole goddamn band here today. So we're. we're I got drummer you know. Eric. I got yeah. Derek Bates. I got, you know. Miss, and then the other two guys will be showing up mid. Charlie and Ricky coming soon, right? Yeah. Yep. Ricky coming, yeah. Yep. So I, hey, they're going to they're gonna fucking actually shit themselves when they see you, John. Hell yeah. Because they have no <laughs> idea. Yeah. They know you too. I think, I think Charlie always shits himself. I think. Well, 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 you, well. you drink three bottles of Jack Daniels. Yeah, yeah I think you're going to. You Jack know? Daniel Breakfast. So, uh, you know, we've been trying to get Terrence on here for a long, long time, and John didn't even believe it was going to happen. Even like, no, listen, he's like, maybe he'll show up. I am the most antisocial motherfucker ever when it comes down to me being <laughs> home. I'm, I'm antisocial. If I'm out, I mean, I'm a social guy in general, but yeah, yeah. it's hard. It's hard to concentrate. It's hard to concentrate on what you got to get done. Yeah, when you're in so many different directions, sure. and me, I'm just I'm freaking out because, like, you know. So it's My life is out on the road, you know? You don't have to explain yourself. It's great to have you on the show today, and it's great that we got the whole band. I feel almost feel like I'm Uncle Floyd or something here. I've got, I got. Oh, oh, you're, you're Steve. The, the time oh, you are the oh, rock yeah. fantasy, Steve. Yeah. There's never been an all band interview. Every time it's just him or just me or just you know. Yeah, that's that way with most everyone we talk to. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, we're gonna we're here to promote. You guys got something new coming out. You've got a new yeah. Suffocation album. And it's a live album, correct? Live in North America. It's out November twelfth on our friends at Nuclear Blast Records. Right. Well, let's yeah. talk about that. That was that, now. This uh, this was film. Now is this film too, or it's just an audio? Is there a DVD? Audio. Well, audio. no, it's only audio okay. because I mean, it's. Okay. It, I mean, we're we're not really videographers and shit. And okay. We don't have those kind of friends that have like tons of cameras and shit and are willing to go for willing to go for next to nothing. You know what I mean? We captured our own audio. Yeah. You know, so yeah. to, cap to capture the, we're engineers. So to capture audio, we kind of already know these mics, these channels, blah, blah, blah. And uh, to do video, that's just none of our, none of our wheelhouse. So yeah. we it's thought, hey, we could go around the tour, catch, you know, a month's worth of recordings, sit okay. back, smoke, drink, listen to which show we liked the most. Yep. And it turned out to be the uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts show. Yep. And okay. uh, we sent it out to be mixed by Christian Donaldson of Cryptopsy. And uh, after a few revisions, got got a banger. And uh, yeah, they're dropping that, what, November 12th? Yeah, November 12th. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of difficult, though, man, because, I mean, well, what was good about it was during the, the tour, it was more recently, so, like, most venues changed over to digital consoles, you know? Mm. And because they did that, all of us have laptops and fucking programs and stupid shit in them. So we got, what, like 15 or 20 shows of all the actual tracks off the board. Individual tracks. And then it was just a hot fucking minute to listen to them all and see which ones weren't fucked up. You know, broken fucking strings, cables frying out. Guy uh, knocks a beer in the fucking Yeah, in, you in, into your amp, you know, that whole nine yards. So that one had like the least amount of technical difficulties. And everybody uh, played good. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the crowd was yeah, fucking totally. awesome. So big up to fucking Massachusetts, you know. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, cool. And of you course, know, this album was recorded during the death chopping North America. Yeah, wow. yeah. Unfortunately, wow. Frank was like this. Fuck you guys. I'm chopping out of here. And uh, <laughs> he chopped himself right out. And he did. He <laughs> did. Man, he got it, you got it, John. You know? But I mean, you got, you got to admit, I mean, at least he did it in style. Like he did it yeah, where yeah. it wasn't like he was just like, fuck you guys. I'm out of here tomorrow. You nah. know? You got like I'll five tours on. lined up, yeah. you know, shows, all the rest of that shit in the middle of recording an album, you know, anything like that. So he premeditated it for a while. And like, I was always trying to like beat him back into submission. Like, you're never going to fucking quit singing, you dick. You know, <laughs> you're not going to do it. And then finally he was like, no, nah, man, this is it. I'm fucking done. After you know? six years of saying he was yeah, you know, <laughs> finally just, just, just <laughs> You know, making it oh, tough yeah. for us to, you know, just get on with it. And like, if you're going to do it, just do it. But I can kind of understand. I mean, he's older. He's got a wife. He's got kids. He's got fucking mm -hmm. probably a full time job. Yeah, he gets extremely person. hammered and he gets these headaches. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. you got to do one. You got to do it. Yeah, he's, he's not happy doing it's it. Or it's too much. 
Yeah, oh, that, that sucks. Show. That's the other thing that he'll say. He'll say he really enjoys right. the show. He, he loves it's it. It's all the other bullshit. You know, he's got other obligations at home. Yeah. So if he teleport to the stage and back to home, he would uh, yeah. keep doing it. But yeah, they're back. Yeah. I'm yeah. good. I'll do no one. We need more nectar. <laughs> but it's fucked up because yeah, at the end of the day, he's like, I love the show, but uh, it's everything in between that I just can't do, you know. And so we have to honor him as a friend, you know. Yeah, I was. Well, at yeah, the- still my friend. I seen him like a couple fucking weeks ago or something. Did you see him? Okay. So yeah, I got to not- see. I got to see your final gig with Frank in New York City. I believe it was that there. Yeah. That was at the Gramercy. Gramercy. Man, what yeah. energy was in that building that night, man? And it, who the hell? Oh yeah, that was, was killer. There's no crying in death metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a special moment, you know. It was like New York, and you guys were home. John, yeah. John, yeah. John, it would almost be like your voice just disappeared, and all you had was your guitar, you know. <laughs> and, and your voice just tried, tried to say "fuck it," not like a horse, like Go a on. sore throat or something. It was just like "fuck you, Dick." I'm not even gonna be here no more, you know. And you're gonna sound like somebody else and stuff yeah. or whatever. Who, well, else, I mean, who was who else was on that tour with you on that? Tour? Oh my God! Uh, cattle decap. Um, I think Chrisian was there. Yeah. Visceral Disgorge. Visceral Disgorge. Yeah. That was a. Fucking that was a great. Night. It was. It's a it's such an electric night. It's so much energy that night. It was yeah, that was Actually, that that tour for me was almost a blur because fucking I got hammered <laughs> nightly, <laughs> and in my old age and shit, I had to go to bed and Can't then I wake up. I'd wake up to Frank fucking singing the Blues Brothers like, ah, oh, come on, oh, or jumping in your fucking bug. Woo, let's go, woo. And I was like, holy shit, dude. Holy Frank was shit. going for it. Oh, dude, him? We, You know, Frank happened to bring his old lady, Natalie, and Natalie is fucking She's cooler rad. than shit, you know? She's super rad. We've known her since we were mall rats, you know? And he <laughs> up with her, like, after all these years, and now they're hooked up together, married, yada, yada. Yeah. But she's a boozer. So they would, uh, would, you know, we would get our rider contract. Like, you know, we'd get a bottle and a couple cases of beer or whatever. No, they would fucking get into town, leave in the morning, come back with like a case of fucking booze, dude. Tito's. Of Tito's and fucking mixers and shit. And I'm like, dude, are you sure, man? Like, you want to do this? Weren't you saying you're trying to retire and shit? He went hard. He went hard. He went hard, man. Yeah. yeah, there was quite a few sound. Oh, like wow. Yeah. yeah. So I mean that's, that's that means a lot coming from you guys. Oh well, I mean I go. <laughs> I, I can go, but I still I, you know, I gotta maintain it to the point where I can just walk into my bed and go to sleep. Frank <laughs> just stays up. And then when he falls asleep, he sleeps with his eyes open. So <laughs> it's it. kind of fucking creepy, man. <laughs> Holy shit. And then no, he'll be drunk through the whole thing, like straight up blackout drunk. Eyes open, woo, fucking flipping out. And then, it, you know, it'll be like, yo, Frank, do you remember that? He'll be like, I don't remember none of it. None of it. Oh, none of it. Like, <laughs> at all. Lights and out. He, yeah. Meanwhile, he's fucking raging, like, Rolling. for hours. Yeah. And, and he's like, from that point, he's like, I don't know anything. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I remember what's this. And we're like, damn. I'm you know, I'm, I'm not that guy that wakes up and I'm like, oh, dude, are we still cool? Like, that commercial, you know? <laughs> like, hey, dude, man, are we, are we still cool? It's like, ooh. <laughs> how many tracks are on how many tracks are on a new album guys oh god i don't Jeez. even know what, what like 12 13 okay yeah we uh we, that's like our usual like settling time because it's roughly an hour hour 15 minutes we don't want to burn ourselves out and usually no, it's not it's not a double album like kiss alive no, no, no. I wish it was. Uh, I, I, have, I have an inkling that it might be a double gatefold uh, gatefold vinyl, vinyl because yeah. it was too much material. Oh, okay, for great. Vinyl. But yeah. it's not a double CD. But I, I believe it is a double. I wish vinyl. it was. I, I could be wrong, but I think they were fighting. Do you guys want to cut tracks to get it to fit? And we're like, fuck no. No, and man. I think That's... they ended up. If it, I'm not mistaken, I think they ended up putting it on two vinyls, though. Okay, they, great. I think, no, I think so. Yeah, I was gonna, it's gonna be out before you know it. It's like eleven exactly. days from, yeah, from uh, we'll know. Very which means that I have to rush writing another record for the middle of next year. <laughs> well, look, do you guys have some, some material? Oh yeah, it works. Oh, I yeah. think you do, right? Oh, of yeah, course. About we, half. Yeah, we got about, about we're about halfway there now. You know. Yeah. But it, it takes us a little bit of time because, as I said, it's like we can't get everybody together. Like, you know, they fuck. It, last February was the last time I seen him. Almost and then now he just came like two or three days ago. Uh-huh. And Ricky was here for a while, but 
he ended up moving to Las Vegas. So now he's over on the other side, you know, of the continent. Mm-hmm. So, so it's just me, Derek, and Charlie really Same here. section, so we can write. Yeah, but we can't really get down and get that whole chemistry. feeling of five yeah, the chemistry. Right? right, because you know, John, that we have to go back to the roots, right? You know? Yeah, you gotta actually play the shit together. We have to be able to play the play fucking it. shit. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to coerce it. Uh, obviously, we have so many fucking records out anyway that, yeah. like, I, I don't. I don't think I should try to rush an album out a year and just settle for shit that like no none way. of us really. I don't know. Get that fucking hairy vibe off of you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah like, we want that shit to be like, blah, 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 and fucking crush it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you guys don't like it, hey, well, you know, at least we did it for ourselves. <laughs> I, wanted <to> mention, <laughs> I wanted to mention, I mean, I give you guys a big thank you for all the long history that we've had with Rock Fantasy over the years. And we, I had you play both our 20th and yeah. our 25th anniversary parties up at the Chance. At the, yep. yeah. Yeah. And I believe you did another one. And I was trying to look for my notes this morning and I've been so busy over the weekend. I, I, you played but, like but, a third but, one. Didn't we do one? Didn't we do one with... Well, this is a long time ago with Morpheus Descends at the class. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. that was maybe, I don't know if that was an anniversary bash or not, but That's definitely that was a show. It wasn't a birthday. Early. It wasn't a birthday, though. Maybe it was. It could have been. Wow. So maybe you've got four anniversary parties. Yeah. Me. I, I mean, mean I'm, I'm old and balding, so I can't remember that well anymore. Oh, my. A little. I have a hat on, though. Uh, <laughs> on the 20th, I'm, I'm, one, I'm, you guys were on the road with Cryptopsy, Vader. Decapitated. Oh, the that, was, that was awesome. I remember that. That was killer. Yo, and uh, Vader and decapitated and uh, aborted and uh, Cryptopsy couldn't get in through the border and they were late. So you guys oh. kind of just stretched it out that day. And uh, the 25th to. anniversary, you were with the faceless through the eyes of the dead, decrepit. Oh, birds. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember that that, that was, was a good one. Man. And then the, was, the, there was another one you did there more recent. I think it was like the 29th or something like that and i don't remember who you guys played with it was like a thursday night because they were threatening to pull the tour the chance was weird I, what was ever was going on there but the show still happened but i think it was more with some like metalcore and more like hardcore yeah yeah, yeah 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 um i'm wondering was that with behemoth like a long time no ago. it wasn't behemoth that okay one was. we did a tour yeah. with them and we had like yeah. a venue or two try to tell us like we have to order extra security and all these gangs are coming and all that shit. No, what? It's, what? Yeah. Oh, really? No, I think it was just the opposite of the chance. They were worried we didn't sell enough tickets. I'm like, dude, I've been promoting this for weeks. Yeah. I'm not canceling it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But you well, guys I'm, played so many memorable gigs with us up there. And I mean, there's one other one that you guys played in Middletown we could talk about quickly was the ill-fated TMT Metal Fest. Oh! There, dude, that sucked. I feel... You know, it would have been fucking so cool because the, the stage and everything was set up. It was, it was like, like Orange Fest. County, yeah, Orange County Raceway, and it was like that was people. crazy. That was I was crazy. like, what the I fuck? I just want to that. I, 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 I I'm, it was like a giant festival stages. And yeah, I mean, that was like, the best was day of practice and, I ever had. It was huge. And it like, was you and like, Goat Horror and, 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 and like 30 of us like of yeah, the middle of the fucking a whole bunch of things of plague. I got a funny story about that show. Remember all the Holy school shit. buses that were parked in the middle of the race? Uh, the, the race Orange track? County Speedway? Yeah, yeah. Talking about? Yeah. yeah. We were fucking hammered yeah, because yeah, we knew yeah, the show yeah, was yeah, kind yeah. of a flop. And, and uh, so we started drinking before the show, which we don't normally do too yes, heavily. Yes, we do. Uh, within moderation. Well, I, I, I have a drink though until after I'll get blotto. But, but the fucked up thing was me and Sammy and like a couple of my guys were running around from bus to bus trying to fire one up because we wanted to run a hot lap. They did so. I got a bus to fire up. No. I got a fucking bus to fucking oh, fire up. And now, you know, we couldn't get it into gear. We were like trying to, it was probably a, a sequence of air release or something, but we couldn't get the fucker into gear and we were going to run a hot lap around. Well, the all I remember is seeing a big cloud of fucking brown, brown body oh, smoke <laughs> from a fucking bus. And it was like the desert out there anyway. Oh, yeah. So, no. you know, there was no way you were going to avoid that shit. Dude, it was not a good thing. Yeah, you guys would have kicked up a hell of a dust yeah. storm with that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Jesus. I guess they could have paid us in school like buses. And then you probably didn't get paid at all. No, we did. We did. Oh, you, but did. Wow, I mean, you were one of the it took, it, let, Let's put it this way. He gave us X amount of money, and then 
the rest of it like came like six to eight months later. Like, oh wow, that's amazing. He, made good. he, he did, did make good. good. He did make yeah. good. He did make good. But I kind of felt really bad for him because it was like, he lost his dude, you had a yeah. sick fucking stage. You everything had a big great. ass there open place, lighting, fucking everything. Everything it was, was one of the most. We could have done a whole show just on this place because it was most interesting than that year. The guy's name was the great Randeezy or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He used to come to my record shop like months before and he was telling me, I'm going to have 75,000 people at the fairgrounds. I'm like, who are you guys? And they didn't mention your name at that time. I'll be time. lucky if I can get 300 there. And I'm like, I'm like, and then the, the bands he had mentioned at that time, then I'll get they incantation, doing, like, I'll get 350. And then they all played the dance. You know, I was kind of hiding from the dude because he wanted me to go in and I, uh, uh, no one got paid. Like people at the uh, fairgrounds, no, right? people that yeah. work the bathrooms, the security. Like he had told, the state police and the fairgrounds that they were going to have 50,000 people there. So state police had yeah. that many cops there the first night. They had that much beer on the grounds. And it was like, it's, good, it's good to be optimistic, but come on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, they left, they, they left the hotel, but the hotel room, they went and picked her up. That was uh, well, that's nice probably, that's probably because you were fucking beat them to death. You know I was mean? that, but, uh, it was just a crazy, just a crazy time at the fairgrounds, and it was, uh, it was just like me and Ralphie Tambora and everybody. And it, what the one funny thing was that Chris Caffrey showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris. Caffrey, Caffrey was trying to get paid from the last gig that this guy did somewhere. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't Jasmine Sinclair who was there. It was the other girl that hosts Metal Sansa. Or nice. Metal, Metal was, nice. Yeah. Yep, she was she, there. She's actually cool, man. You know, she does her own oh, thing. Yeah. On the West Coast, she's got her own little jam spot that they film and they get bands to come in and hang out. So I think that's mm -hmm. cool. But I'm curious. Well, I, mean, I was going to ask you about the current lineup of the band, but you're going to have a whole band here in a little bit, so we'll take care of that. Yeah, they they can introduce man. their own fucking they stupidity. They can walk into the door any minute. <laughs> any well, minute coming. Right. Now, this is what happens when you have a band. They should be here any minute. The interview will probably go until like 7.30. <laughs> and then they'll come in. Yo, bro, man, we're no. here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 7.30. Right? You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a <laughs> long time. My old lady's not going to have that. that. <laughs> I mean, John and I have done some interviews that are about two and a half hours. Because like, especially John will get chatting with some of the bands from back in the day and just get talking and before you know it but, but. Well, i'm waiting for john i'm waiting for john to go back out on tour with us man we had a blast oh yeah that show, was man. a blast that, that was good shit awesome. bro. yeah we look forward to that too we definitely got to do something in the future that'd be awesome it's yeah, such a good time it was a great time man. let's, get, let's get, get us great. in the the incantation yeah us in incantation here we go. and like here we go. and like oh, uh, yeah. other really cool bands like false prophet and you know oh, like you know Emulation, what, whatever, what and we'll fucking about. right, and we'll rent out Orange County Fairgrounds and actually promote it. <laughs> yeah, you know that's a good we'll call, idea. We'll, we can call it Hobbs Fest. We can call it Hobbs Fest, and we'll fucking just we'll do our own thing, except for you know we'll make the thirteen people that were at that last time. Sarah, you know, you know Robin Mason, and she's one of our main Love people Robin. on the channel. And Robin's all, always been talking about how you need to do a shun tour with everybody that's got shun on hands. So yeah, absolutely. incantation, suffocation. Of course, immolation. You know, yeah. everybody. No. You can get everybody. It would be it would be cool because you know all the bands that have shun at the end of their name are fucking sick. <laughs> that is a metal factor right you know you got shun on there man you're you're good I can't think of anything. <laughs> well here's to the shun bands here's to mr incantation here's to mr killer and rock fantasy thank you you live forever and i've, fucking... only, got a, I've only got a seltzer to toast you right now. that's okay man seltzer's good man <laughs> good <laughs> Bud Light's kind of like just stuff. you just didn't want to tell anybody yeah. that you had like vodka in it Oh, it's gin. It's gin, I think. Oh, gin and tonic. Yeah. So, so John, uh, uh, I mean, what? Else, anything else you guys want to tell us about the new record, or you want John to hit you uh, with some questions? Uh, no. Well, no, we want we want to just mingle around everywhere. Mingle around. All right. So, John, I'm going to let That's you drive us from now on. You can hit him with some questions if you like. If you want to talk about some old tours or anything going on, man. Uh, man, I don't know. I feel like I'm a spot or something. But um... <laughs> we, we have this plan for years, and I, I'm the one that fucked up. <laughs> Come on, John. 
Terrence, you want to do an interview next week? Nah, he didn't answer. Uh, as long as it's with, <laughs> only if it's, well, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to be out, bro. <laughs> and then, then I have like week. seven. I actually, what's fucked up is, okay, like for the last, I don't know, let's say three or four weeks, every Monday and Thursday, we've been doing press, you know? So mm-hmm. Daryl will get some, I'll get a bunch. So I'll do like five to seven interviews on a Monday yeah. or on a Thursday. It was Halloween weekend, uh, obviously, and fucking, I was like, okay, Monday and Thursday, it's going to come. Nothing came in the mail until five o'clock this morning. And it was the the people from, let's say, you know, the promotion people Mm -hmm. send me the thing and they turn around and say, oh, we had this in the computer since Saturday and uh, it just never sent out. So I hope you can still do all these interviews. And they like literally booked me today from one o'clock until like fucking four or five o'clock. Or something. Like and it was going to be over the interview I was going to do with you. And I was like, no, nah, fuck that. So I canceled. Like again. So you stayed, yes. <laughs> yeah, I canceled them all. And I, I had to, you know, do the one with you because it's been so fucking long coming. You were next, John. Don't think you weren't. Because <laughs> I was going to be like, yo, I got to get up with the people that are good, you know? I'm not yeah. trying, you know, but I have to do it. I have to do it for them, the, for the label, for you know, the band, yeah. for Frank Mullen. It's his last thing, you know, and it, it really sounds good as a live record. And I'm like, can't wait to hear it. Pretty proud, proud of it, you know. At least for it being live, because you is. know, yeah. we go into a studio, we can do whatever. Oh, I have a fucking studio. Area. I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't but I, I mean, from the tour we did with you guys just recently, it sounded so badass live. I mean. I think it sounds better live than it does on album. It just has that ferocity there. You know? I, do too. I, I, I do too. Yes. But, you know, John, it, it all also had to do with the people that were working with us there. Because literally, you guys were crushing. That Mexico City show was fucking ridiculous. It was a lot of fun. It was nuts. Yeah, a lot, that whole tour, tour was a they, lot You guys sounded awesome. Every show, was every show was So, awesome. you know, I had a great time with you guys out on the road. Although we all got sick. You didn't get sick, did you, John? No, it was like my first time on tour, everyone getting sick, and I'm not sick, you know? Yeah, I think we all I think we all ended up getting sick See, with COVID. I don't remember being sick. Bullshit, you sick. were in the fucking thing going over my head like, <coughs> I choked it off over my head. And then next thing you know, Ricky was like, next thing you know, Ricky was like I'm fucking sick. And then I was like, oh, shit, I'm sick. And then, oh, shit, Charlie's sick. So when we got home... Everybody was <laughs> fucked. Everybody was fucked for like a week and a half. So I, I, you know, I haven't gotten sick past that. But obviously, I took the jab because I want to play shows. You know. Yeah. And plus, I'm over fifty. So what the fuck's I gonna do? You know what I mean? What What year was <laughs> now? What one was the tour that you guys were talking about? Was that 2019? You guys. That was 2020. It's beginning. Yeah. Well, Mexico. You were out there. Mexico, you were, no, with so you were out there in the virus uh, world with uh, activists and everybody else. But, what was, what was fucked up was when we were out with you in, in, in Mexico and we all got sick, we came home for like a couple of weeks. Then we went to Russia. Then we caught into, then we oh, caught that's into, right, that's right. like right. Finland. We were in Europe and every country that we fucking went through. Like, they were closing borders. Right closing borders us. right behind us. They were like, if you were leaving. Dropping like, shows left and right. And, and then Italy got hit really bad. They got canceled. Then know. Spain got hit really bad. They canceled. Okay. And then Terrence comes up to you. I'll never forget this. <clears throat> we're in Switzerland. And we had just come from the hotel. And we got to the venue. And he walks up to me and he goes, yo, man, we got to get out of here. And I'm like, yeah. you want to go back to the hotel, man? What the fuck? <laughs> he goes, no, we got to get the fuck out of Europe. You yeah. guys are about to close this Trump, bitch down. Trump gave us that 48 hour window. To get oh, the- Daddy. So, yeah. Like, you gotta go. It was like all the- go. everything's gonna get fucking shut down. And the other twist to that was I have a European girl that I stay with, and I had planned to be a couple weeks with her after the tour. Mm-hmm. So I stayed back when they all bounced home. I got stuck there for three months. No <laughs> You didn't get home until like almost the end of April. No commercial flights. So, so if you guys didn't leave, you guys would have all been stuck there for three months. And who yeah, knows where you would have stayed. Yeah. Literally, yeah. literally, we were in we were in Switzerland and we played a gig. And my my other roommate upstairs was like calling me. And I'm like sleeping in the bunk and shit, all like in the dark. And he's like, yo, dude, you see the news? And I'm like. I didn't see shit. I was like, Trump's closing down the fucking borders and nobody can go in and nobody can go out. Anybody who lives in America, you got to get home within 48 hours. 
So now we have like an eight hour difference or something like that yeah. beyond the 48 hours. And we played the gig that we were yeah, playing there. And, you know, I asked everybody, I said, dude, our, our flights are out of Germany. So we still had to go like from Switzerland into like uh, France and then oh, into Spain yeah, and then into yeah. Portugal and then to England. Wow. And then we were going to come back and be in Germany and fly home. Our tickets were already booked. So we, you, we knew, yeah, we knew we weren't going to be able to get to Germany to fucking fly home. So from that place in Switzerland, I can't remember the fucking town, but it was beautiful. But oh, Switzerland like, rules. We're going to join in on the side of a mountain with fucking the shit coming off of it. Wow, Crispy as fucking air in the world. I'm happy as a pig and shit. It's like, oh, fuck, I got to go home. Next thing you know, <laughs> got done with the show. Eric flew right back to Canada from Geneva, and we all flew back to the States. And it, it, from that point, we haven't played a gig. No, Our first gig is going to be nice. in no, like a week. Stuff and and where yeah, that had to really suck. It who blew, man. I've never... Who were you, you know, in not... in Europe, Terrence? I'm sorry. Uh, with Belfagor and Heat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a great choice. Yeah. yeah. And what, that, what, well, yeah. well we're, tr exactly we're going to try to is what mm. it comes down to. Resume where we left yeah. off with an uh, additional two weeks. I mean, that whole pandemic fucked up like almost a whole straight year of touring for us because we were booked, you know? Oh, so, so we had Australia going, New Zealand, everything. Let's, let's, yeah. let's just let's... chat real quick and then I'll throw it back to John. Let's chat about these gigs you got coming up. Yeah. All right, well... Um, Atlanta Long. Yeah, we got Atlanta coming up on the 5th. We're going to be playing down there at the Terror Festival. Okay. Then we're uh, playing, what is it, the 14th? Uh, Long Island is it's the, the 13th. 13th at Amityville Music Hall, a little small place, hometown yep. show. Yeah. Hanging out with our friends, uh, Monochromatic Black, Afterbirth, Internal Bleeding, uh, some other bands. It should be pretty, pretty cool. cool. And, cool, cool. and then, Intimate. yeah, and then after that, what it, what's the so next one? We have Maryland, the which was the weekend. makeup show that, yeah. you know, for Zach Oler over there yeah. at uh, Cafe 611, and we'll be playing with Internal Bleeding. Abominog, my boys from down south, you know, and I'm so happy they got back together because like at the beginning of going out of state and running into you cats, the incantation and deceased and all those, you know, bands, yeah. from Maryland, you know, um, you know, they had broken up so long ago and I remained friends with Chris for a long time. And now they seem to have reformed with the new band and they're going to be playing the show with us too. So that's what we have in store for right now. December, hopefully, what is it? Arnhem Metal Meeting? Eindhoven. Eindhoven oh. Metal Meeting we're supposed to be playing. Wow. But we're still a little bit up in the air with that. We, you know, things are Frank. still in flux. And know? then it was supposed to be Frank, and then it was put off, and then put off because the pandemic bullshit. Well, Frank's never going to get vaccinated, so if he doesn't gonna... want to get vaccinated, yeah. so he doesn't want to He, go he got the Lyme stuck. disease shot, and it gave him fucking Lyme disease. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so... He's against that. Yeah, shit, so. well, it's not even so much that. Why does he, you know, why is he going to want to go and fly to the fucking, to the Netherlands? He doesn't smoke weed. He, he doesn't want to play anymore. He's not going to take the vax. The only reason he didn't want to go there is to get a headache and scream at us, so... I mean, you know... I don't blame him for that, though. You know, so it kind of sucks if uh, things pan out and you know the negotiations go right. We'll go over there with Ricky, who I think is doing well. He's doing very fucking good. yeah. Ricky kicked ass. I thought he did a great job. Yeah, he's doing really good. Man. I mean, no, no disrespect to Frank, but I, I didn't. It did, guys didn't miss a beat, in my opinion. That's good. That's well, good. Yeah, it just sounded it just sounded right. You know, the funniest that, shit you, in the John. world is when you see a review from a show you played the night before, and they say. Frank Mullen killed it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that wasn't Frank, so Ricky did very good. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> but, but, you know, like, Ricky, even even though Ricky is, like, let's say the new guy, I mean, he's been on and off in this band for close to five years. Eric's been in the band a little bit over five years. Charlie's been in the band over five years. Derek's been in the band with me for fucking, like, eight, 20, yeah, 18, yeah. 20 years now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the only thing we can all pretty much count on is that things are going to change as we get older. But uh, so I think my band right now, though, kills. <laughs> it fucking sick. Kills. You know what I mean? So I'm happy. I'm happy I have really, like, proficient players, people who are into it. They all want to go out. Like, even Ricky. Ricky, you know, drummer from Disgorge. Yeah, and he's been he's been doing it forever. He's been yeah. doing it forever. He's, he's a road dog. So, yeah. you know, I think we have the right combination of people. I mean, we're still squirrely as fucking crazy. But... 
we know what we want to do. You know what I mean? And that's everybody has the same. That means a lot to me because I've been doing this shit fucking as long as you've been doing. You know, you want you want to go out on tour and have a good time with the people you're with, and you want to you don't want to be around people that don't want to do it. It's the worst when you feel like you're kind of pushing somebody to do stuff that they don't want to do. Yeah, we've all felt it. Absolutely, your team has to be on the same border. Yeah, yeah. You know, your vibe here is going to be the same if we're in Japan, Europe. As long as we're a unit, as matter. long as they give me matter. weed, we're cool everywhere. Thank you, New York. And no, I mean, it's not thank you, Cuomo, because it was just New York that did it. It wasn't Cuomo. Uh -huh. That was a fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they, they really like shopping at Rock Fantasy sometimes. Dude, I, I, I shit you not. Like, you're probably about the only like completely underground store that I know of, like within Long Island up to where you're at. Oh. What is Spring Valley, Middletown? Yeah, um, a little bit north of Spring Valley. Yeah, Spring yeah. Valley. And uh, I mean, we don't we don't have like maybe if you went to New York City, it's do you still you still have slip disc out there? <laughs> yeah, we do, but I mean, still open, okay. Yeah, I mean, I might as well travel out to Rock Fantasy, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like that far. This doesn't have bongs, so I mean water pipes. I, I said that. Wrong. <laughs> ah, yeah, well, <laughs> it's a bubbler. I mean water pipe. It is a tobacco <laughs> water bubbler. Yes, a tobacco pipe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can use it for whatever you want, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. You can put flowers in it and make a little haze, and you know. <laughs> This one here, oh, uh, shit. a doctor's <laughs> item. It's got like a Frankenstein go. and a Wolfman on. <laughs> oh man, you don't want me to go upstairs. It got my pride and joy. Oh, there you go. Did you bring that one from Canada, Eric? No, this is actually, across the border. You're like dude from uh, Vegas. LA. Oh yeah, oh, he's from, LA. yeah, he's, he's from LA. It's, it's a uh, brutal, brutal, brutal glass. They us up. I know that uh, Terrence, that you you had a grinder. That you were selling on tour, right? I had, I think it had your face on it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, that. Yeah. Hops. It's, it's got the same one that's on, like the same face that's on my oh, guitar sure. pick. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. that's just a funny thing in general. Like, to make a long story short. I was playing in France, like way back in the day, and I'd always see this little redheaded girl go flying off the stage and shit. Now you know me. I wear glasses, you know, so it's just a big little red. Final off the stage. <laughs> so, <clears throat> needless to say, like, you know, we go back on tour. I'm in France. We're at Glazart. I'm sure you played there, John. And uh, I'm walking in the back of the place, and there's this little redhead girl, and she's like, yo, Hobbs, let's smoke a joint. And I was like, that's kind of fucked up. That Like, you don't have that, like, French accent. What the fuck is going on? Exactly. She's like, yeah, it turns out she's from Connecticut, living and she's been living there for forever, and that's the girl who's flying off the stage. <laughs> so we, we became Why friends not? we became friends and she's the one that actually drew that picture and uh she was like i got the best idea i got the best idea wait till you see it and i was like okay so she's like yo you gotta meet me in front of the club and she had fucking like 50 shirts with that fucking cartoon face of me on <laughs> Really? And I didn't know, wow, yo, sure. bro, I didn't know how to take that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like seeing yourself on South Park or like, you know, <laughs> just uh, fucking anything. Like, uh, uh, I, I've, I've never worn one myself. <laughs> I figure it'd be kind of oxymoronic and everything, you know. But yeah. uh, it was just really surreal because, you know, people, like, let alone that she just gave some to all, all of our friends and shit. Next thing you know, I'm printing fucking, you know, grosses of those things. Yeah. Well, and I, I, and, and I was is, like, what the fuck, dude? The that's funny crazy. Thing is she gave a bunch of them out to some other bands. So, like, the crowbar guys walked up wearing one. It's the weirdest yeah. shit. It's the weirdest shit, you know? And I mean, I, <laughs> I, I think it's really cool because she turned out to be like, good friend. Yeah, good a friend really good friend yeah. who was just like from across the fucking sound over here. And I, I just seen her a month ago. She was out she here was to here. go and see uh, Psycho Las Vegas, and she popped up over at my crib, and we watched the whole uh, death documentary together and smoked a lot of pot. It was cool. You know, so you got you guys. You guys played Psycho Las Vegas this year. I've no. never played. Oh, no, no, no. You, you were out, you went out to it though. No, no, not me. I was stuck here at home trying to get everything dude. together. Oh, the little rat had that. I'm sorry. I did. I heard yeah, her. Yeah. So yeah. she stopped over here in New York. I, I, you know, the band oh, had the chance to play down. Psycho Las Vegas. I'm I'm really happy for them because we're the kind of band that misses a lot of those, you know, big festivals that you would see some band that you would never expect to play a festival. They'll yeah. be playing before we will. 
and it's uh, fucked up. yeah, it's fucked up. But, but it, is, still, it, is. It, it is what it is. You can't fucking win them all, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, to make a long story now. short, I want to play that motherfucker next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. We want to play that one too. You got shut down too. We need the shuns. We'll take that fucking. <laughs> yeah, off. yeah, yeah. That's the shun right. here. Right, we'll get decapitation and shit. Fucking yeah, out of there, shun. Yeah, shun. shun. We'll get immolation. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we just passed the anniversary for Apache the Forgot. Oh, Apache the Forgotten came out in 1991, October 8th. So oh, you're, you're, yeah. you're, uh, it's the anniversary of. Uh, yeah, how old I am, Keeler. 30 years. 30. The, de- the debut album. Shit. Oh, it's the 30th anniversary party. Have another beer, guys. I'm really young. I'm really living young. I'm only <laughs> I'm only three. It's 30 three. Back. Yeah, I'm only three. <laughs> you know, it's 30 backwards. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, 30 years, man. Whoever would have thought, you know? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then you throw whoever whoever would have thought though, you know what I mean? Like, I never thought that like. I mean, yeah, you put out an album, but who would have ever thought anybody would pay attention to that? It would turn into a cult. Well, and I never thought it was going to last longer than fucking three months, let alone 30 years. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> thank you to everybody out in rock fantasy land, upstate New York motherfuckers that have supported us throughout all the iterations of this band. Because, I mean, 30 years, that's that's a long time. And I never, ever would have thought it would have went that far with anybody like with any anything i thought i was just gonna pay in little little shitty fucking cafe you know maybe once or twice in my life and that's it well, i never so thought it so never back thought then i was just happy to put out a seven inch or an album or something yeah exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> fuck but dude and even if it, even if you did put it out it's like how many of them we were lucky we could pay for an eight track at a studio <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. so to you know, with that being said, I mean, thirty years, god damn, man, and that means that I'm fucking old. <laughs> I don't want to ruin your buzz, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, so, that, so now, now oh, people yeah. coming out to your gigs the next couple of weeks, they're gonna want to hear a couple tracks from the yeah, well, anniversary. You know, well, we'll we'll play a couple few. For sure, it's uh, really well, hard for us to just turn around mm-hmm. and just play. One record, boys are front, close. front to back, yeah, like boys are close. Yeah, see, I told you. The same. Get get the they're timing it. They're timing it uh, for four o'clock to walk in and be like, "Hey," and then walk away. You know? Yeah, where where are they? Seven thirty before they get here. They're right down the street. Oh, okay. They're coming now. All right, so we're gonna have to keep this. That's what I heard at the beginning. Keep it going. Keep it loud. We're gonna. Oh, I got a lot more shit to say, bro. I got some shit to say. Oh my goodness. But John, man, I mean, you, you've got some fucking albums that have been out there for a hot minute too there, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Right? Old, like, right? but he's, only, he's only 19 years old. He can't have too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, John, the only reason that John's hair is gray is because he went and he seen some crazy shit happen off the stage. It turned his shit right. <laughs> Get my hair going to the back of my head. Yeah, you know, that bass and all that shit. Experience, you know? Aliens, slam yeah, yeah, yeah. blood, guns, fucking. He's a wizard. He's, just like, <laughs> He's been referred to as, as a wizard on the Rock Fantasy Files for some topics that oh, yeah. people aren't familiar with. Like, what's that? Ooh. That wizard guy really knows about <laughs> stuff. Dude, you should totally have a sick ass guitar that's like a scepter. You know what I mean? And that you could just like well no, I mean come My on. Scepter. Don't, don't, yeah, there it is. Don't 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 is I that mean, the Bavarnik? Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, you see, right. Scott built me guitars, fucked them all up, and <laughs> built you the good one. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was still I was learning. A, I was a skinny thing. I know, actually, I love Scott. I love his guitars, but man, up, to be a, okay. no, oh, no, amazing. they all have their little amazing. share of quirks. Anything that's handmade always does. Sure. But, uh, you know, I mean, I've been such a BC Rich junkie, man, and I, you know, I'm <laughs> um, just sure. probably <laughs> just going to, not anything with Scott. I would have Scott build me a different custom <laughs> shape. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going back to the BCs, man, Definitely. because, uh, BMW you know, I've been I talking to the, to the owner of it, and he was, he was always one of the main guys there all throughout my 13, 14 year endorsement with BC Rich, you know? 
And yeah. once they, they fell apart, everything went everywhere. Oh, no, he, yeah. And then when they got back like to, when they reformed their new owners, <laughs> he actually called me up and was like, yo, dude. He's like, what do you think about that knockoff guitar that you're playing? I was like, I was like you know, because he was bent. You know, he was kind of bent. He was like, he was like, we paid a lot of money to make sure that we can own those designs. And I was like, well, listen, Rick Ross fucking called me up and said, yo, Hobbs, you really should get a guitar built by this guy, which was Scott. Yeah. That's a big BC Rich fan, too. Like, not like we're all mad. I told him. Yeah, that. yeah. I love BC Rich. And, and, and he was like, you know, when Scott approached me to build me a guitar, he was like, what shape do you want? Hobbs off. And no, well, that wasn't it. I wanted so I didn't know what I'm I back. <laughs> it's cool, man. I want to get a beer. I want to get a beer. Oh, man. I want to. <laughs> 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 popcorn too. So we're gonna stay away. Oh yeah, you gotta have some munchies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a full clip, Eric. Three of them. Um. So with that being said, I, I boys are here. When I asked Scott, I was like, "Well, you're there a big you Rich fan. I'm a BC Rich fan. I don't know if they're ever getting back together or whatever." Last year. Just, just, yeah. just build me a fucking a world, bro. You guys, you yeah, guys. Well, that's yeah, yeah. My problem was a c contact with BC Rich. I had a deal with them and never heard nothing from them. And then well, what happened? They would trade uh, on right. relations guys, and then not well, it, a it guy was, they never heard of. It wasn't even so yeah, much the like, yeah. It wasn't so much the A and R. It was the actual owners, like the company itself had a bunch of different owners. They got bought, and then they would guy. get they would sell it. To somebody else who wouldn't do anything, and then they would, you know, fuck it Someone up, and, buy it and they would never like really follow the roster of the players that were on it, except for the big ones. Yeah, and would always get it. And I mean, it was just a nightmare until it just kind of fell apart. Uh huh. Yeah. And that amount of time. The boys. That amount right, of time. Here go. Go. The boys are here. All oh, the boys, boys are, are back in town. Right. Right. Boys are back in town. Hey, hey Ricky. Ricky. Hey, Grant Agatee. What, what up, up, man? man? Yeah. Johnny Boy. Johnny. Yeah. We're like, where's Charlie? He's like, Charlie. Yeah. This might be the most interesting episode we've done, John. I'm glad. <laughs> I wanted it to be special. Yeah. Yeah. Drink, drink, drink some beer. And honestly, honestly, and I wanted it to be special, Steve. Because you something. came you came through so gangster when we were, we were at that fucking Poughkeepsie show, and you brought us. I, I still have my rock Good fantasy job. mirror. You know, oh yeah, you, know, you had hooked it all up for us, and like for me not to let me get my dome out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> for me not to, uh, oh for me not to be able to like you know get up there and hang out, have the band come up there, spend some time doing in score. Maybe we can work this all out in uh, 2022. Have you guys? Come up, yeah. I hope so, man. We got to do sure. something. Hopefully, I'll be able to travel like, and we won't be hampered by bullshit. In yeah. order to get up there and, and have a good time, you know. Um, We're not too far. It's about an hour and a half, probably, right? Yeah, no, well, from no, from me from here to the, to New York City is like about an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> right back to so I'm up to you, it's almost now. about two and a half because hours. I had it here. Right, well, you're you're yeah, out the island. Right? We're on the island, like further out east. Okay. Know? So it's it's a pain in the ass to just go to Duff's and hang out, have a couple. Yeah. Beers. That's like a serious DV ride. <laughs> yeah, so, I think, uh, that's I where the metal is. is. I mean, yeah, no, you, you, was you, right were right right. you were up in Poughkeepsie or that gig. It was that was another show that you were with the crap at Burr, and uh, you were with uh Necrot. Necrot, oh, that was dude, yeah. Necrot yeah. rules, yes, uh, and uh, and you were also with uh, Black and I think Black, right. the Black Dialer murder. Yep. And then yeah. you were in Poughkeepsie and you said, what are you doing tomorrow? I need some stuff. And I said, what are you playing? And I drove a bunch of stuff down to Manhattan for you guys. Fuck yeah, yeah killer. That's right. That's right. Safe today, man. You're playing some, oh, you you're playing some club play, in the studio and it went on early because we got there and Necrot was already done. It was like six o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like six o'clock. Uh, yeah. It was an early show. It was an yeah. early show. Why, why do they do that over there, man? You, you they got a disco to put on afterwards. What's a disco or something? Yeah, well, it's a fancy. Yeah, wow. I, I only really thought shit got fucked up in D.C. when it went from, like, metal <laughs> to go-go or whatever they want to you know. Ooh. That's how it was back in the beginning, you know? Right, anybody need a beer or anything? Uh, I got my backup right now. I'm getting drunk as none. fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys seem to like the party. That was cool. 
Fucking John in the house. Uh, <laughs> dude, uh, Charlie. I wish we could be up there, man. I would like to be in your shop, man. And just well, John's out. not at my shop either. John's in North Carolina now. He's in I know. He's, there, he's, there, he's down there hanging out with fucking performing. He moved. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Yo, well, you can always will, come visit sometime, man, for sure. I, I, I will manage to get up there, man, because we need to, for one. And for two, you've got the fucking illest, metalist, fucking everything going Sick on shop. up there. Like, it's been... You moved shops since the last time I was there. I which moved. Was I moved. The before, the yeah, early I, moved I mean, I moved in 2019 again. Yeah, so right before the so, pandemic, yeah, and the, we got like a much bigger shop. I actually had a guy come up today and vlog everything for uh, a YouTube blogger. He does like amusement parks and roadside stands. He came, vlogged part of my house and vlogged the uh, store because we have you know, like 40 pinball machines now. Yeah, we dude. got the head shop. We got the record shop. So it's all, all together, and we're next to we're next to a brewery too. So it all works out. Win win win. Yeah, that means <laughs> long drunken ride. Wasn't that your old shop? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Charlie? Your, wasn't your old shop by like the Sound Asylum or something? Yeah, it was nearer the Sound Asylum. The old shop. I mean, we're we're like the Sound Asylum where it was. I moved from other sides of it, like Rock Fantasy. The original spot was on one, like two blocks up. So I, I, we're near. What did you go to the Sound Asylum before? That's like yeah, a I storefront just, place, right? Yeah. Yeah, Man, I, I think I actually books. went to your place when I was uh, filling in for internal bleeding. I feel like I went. Oh, to you were, so you were there that day. We we yeah. gave you pizza that day, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> You see how Keeler is just coming yeah. through, coming through no, for us like a fucking it. champ, bro. Yeah, yeah. I think, Dude, I'm, I still, I'm still housebound. I don't go out that much. I I go out. I have seen a couple bands this year. I saw a Cheap Trick and I saw Leonard Skinner this year. That's about it. Wow. Oh, okay. No. Place is Skinner. <laughs> I've heard that quite a few times in my career. They still they yell free uh, beer on the stage. Uh, they scream that shit at you. you know? but, uh, <laughs> Play some Skinner. <laughs> Skinner, free yeah. yeah, totally, totally. Oh man. So, what venue? If I may ask you, um, Steve, is like around upstate by you that's decent that we could get like a gig at? Like, I, I tell mean, you, there's oh. really nothing much around. Around Middle Sound, there's nothing for a national yeah, act. Uh, easy. Easy the, only, the closest place to us is the Chance, pretty much. Yeah, Either the know. Chance yeah, or the yeah, City, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the Chance has fallen on some hard times. You know, I don't know if you knew that Frank, the, the Frank well, of the everything, owner, everything's fucked up. We got Joe Biden. Fuck Joe Biden. Uh oh, we're getting the politics now. <laughs> nah, uh, but it's true. It's true. The dude's a douche. Oh, let's go. <laughs> but uh, the guy's a douche. <laughs> Come on. Now the the Come owner on. of the chance. Wait a sink or ship, old man. <laughs> <laughs> we might make blabbermouth with this statement. I better watch. Uh, well, come on, man. I mean, look, we we can't travel. Our fucking, we're not. You know, everybody's back. Yeah. Right, we're, we're not fucking physically fucking adept to take care of ourselves anymore. What yeah. the fuck, man? True. What the fuck? <laughs> we were fucking energy independent the whole nine yards, and. This guy just fucked everything up. So mm -hmm. he did. He did. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, the chance I mean, of the Gypsy's the closest place, but Terrence, Frank, Frank, Frank that owned the chance passed away in July. I, don't, I wasn't sure if you were aware. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know that. Yeah, Frank passed away, and then his sister passed away. So yeah. like, both of the owners of the chance passed away. I know they're booking oh, shows oh, and they're open oh, again. Oh, oh. Know. Is someone we running it? Really still doing it. Going on. It's getting dead right now. No one's running it. Uh, it's open right now, and right now they've got shows booked until like January. But I don't know what the you know who if someone else is his wife right. is going to continue to run it, or I know that uh, it's, it's, it's going to take, it's gonna take a change for a long time. It's going to uh, take a, a change for a, who knows? That's yeah, because it, it's awesome. to buy it. make it the that's, Death Metal Palace. Shit. What about the class? Is the class still doing the stuff? Class is still there, but it hasn't been open in years. It's just sitting there. It's a, it's yeah. still a nightclub, but it's been closed for years. Oh wow, wow man. we don't have anything up here, but uh that's what I mean. It's kind of rough. I mean, even out here on Long Island, we have one place that's pretty big. And the last time we played there, somebody got like the guards got attacked with an axe or some a shit. Hammer. So we'll never wow. end up playing there a band, again. A fan got kicked out, went to his car, got a hammer, came back and beat the staff up with a fucking oh, hammer. Right. right. No, the, the staff beat hammer. him to 
to they pounded well, they ended up not they good. pounded it that didn't end well it didn't end not well. for him it didn't yeah. end well. now the guy fucked oh. it up. so but, i think uh, i'm going to ask a question that we got everybody in the room now what is i'm going to ask you a question like what's your desert island album to everyone in suffocation i want an answer from each one of you how's that am i making you work too island. hard now you're stuck on a desert island and you need to bring only <laughs> one album. all right yeah jeez I don't know. Do you, does, the, does the island have weed? I don't know, Definitely. man. Definitely. They have marijuana plants. Oh, I got it. I don't know. I don't know. Can it be a mixed CD? We can get a mixed CD. We can get a mixed CD. We can bring three CDs. Oh, that's, okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to just try to think of one because it's a lot harder to... Uh, to put your finger on, but I got to drop down and then say it's an incantation. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, sure. I mean, if I'm gonna have to call it, man, if I'm gonna have to call it, I'm gonna be stuck with like Born Again. Oh, that's a good one. one. Born Again. Wow. Yeah, I mean, uh, because, Black Sabbath album. Yeah, yeah. because the one with the angels is very good to say. I knew there's a reason why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Forget it, dude. It's, it's, it fucking gives you chills, and it kind of sucks <laughs> because. It's not, it's not even fucking, you know, it's not Dio, and Dio is just like my fucking oh, idol, yeah. you know, and he fucking lived metal and died metal and fucking was like, wow, I fucking killed it. Dean Gillen, you know? but Born Again, Born Born Again's a shit. Born that Dean fucking Gillen, record, Black Sabbath. It's a phenomenal <laughs> record. Like Diary of a Madman was phenomenal. Diary of a Madman yes. You yeah. can't even really fuck with those be, records. I was, that, my pick was literally that, so I changed it when you said it, to now I'm going to say Machine Head by fucking uh, uh, Deep Purple. Uh, wow. Okay. Two, two votes for Ian Gillen. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Ian that were Gillen. perpendicular because when they introduced Steve Morris, it was like, it, was, it wasn't Richie, but it was still a whole new flavor, you know? But like, cool. obviously Ian Gillen. Like that's fun. I mean, I'm a guitar player. You would think it would be Steve Vai, but it isn't. No, you know, I'm like going flexible. Definitely, that's definitely. Uh, that's I always the man. And Richie Blackmore. So yeah. Derek, you said oh. what? Death? You said uh, death? Death human. Death human. All right. All right. That's definitely one of mine. I mean, oh shit! Human. So human. So I fucking love that record, man. That's I like tough. It. I like spiritual. That's tough. We got, we got uh, two more to pick from here, Charlie. All right. I got, all right. Uh, you got uh, a desert island album. Uh, I'll do. Uh, but I have to say, D S I D S I. Yeah, oh, oh my god, that's a Great ridiculous record. record. That's a good record. What, what a death metal, guys. I never that's heard nothing like that. Like when, yeah. when that oh, came yeah. out, it was <laughs> like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck just happened? Yeah. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, Big up to DSR. Uh, so Charlie, you know. Yeah, what about you, Charlie? Um, I would bring our, no <laughs> close. <laughs> close. Okay. close. I would Shot actually in. bring our Live record that's about to come out. Oh, Remember the good times. If I'm on that island, that's, 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 that's a good call. So. <laughs> what a shame. There's too, there's too many records to pick yeah, out, man. There's a lot. You know, we could end up fucked up and like stuck on an island with weed. That's what we were talking about. Uh, you know, that would be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Once we were talking about Black Sabbath, me and John have been defending a certain album. I shouldn't even say we're defending it, but <laughs> let's say a thumbs up or a thumbs down to Black Sabbath's Never Say Die. I want to see what you guys say. I don't know it. Don't I don't know it. I don't know that Never say die. I don't know that record. <laughs> yeah, I get two thumbs up. Godly. Like it. It's godly. I think it's great. Yeah, that's like it. You know, it's you know how people are always like fucking Led Zeppelin and blah blah blah. blah, blah. Got, <laughs> Fuck that, dude! Like you, you do it, man. Come on, I know, but I like you know I liked fucking Led Zeppelin when I was a kid. You know, learning guitar and shit like that. Like Jimmy Page was sick. Yeah. But like Ingve Malmsteen smoked him, and then after that, I heard fucking Slayer, and I was like, what? That's two different worlds. Oh! Was being... No, but you know, being a guitar, <laughs> you know, it was nuts. I was like, this is fantastic. Yeah. What's the other thing? Rules What's too. The, oh, Robin, oh, Robin always asks this question: is Pineapple on pizza? Is that thumbs up? Thumbs no. down? No. They're from New York. Down. Not for supper. What the hell? I'd rather eat anchovies, but fucking no, okay. pepperoni is acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> They'll agree with Robin and Prika. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no, no, Yo, I, I mean, you know, look, I there's some people, I've eaten pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it didn't really, <laughs> like, offend me, like but is it are meant to be there? Are we playing them a song? You can't, it's going to be a little loud. It's, it's about to warm up. No, they patty. They patty when Eric played the drums. If they want to, uh, I'm down for it. What do you say, John? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. let's play some fucking metal. That's what we're here for, metal. We got, we got three days till the show, and we started yesterday, so it's been 20 months. And I'm fucking wasted. No hey, at least what I'm a gonna fly. Oh boy, you guys gonna make me have to do yeah, all sorts work? of greasy shit. Yeah, you don't even understand. Dude, hey, work. if my computer oh, no, no, crashes no, no. on you, nope. right, don't right. mind it because I got like fucking do? 20 no, tracks no, going in. No, you might want to back up. Maybe if, uh, just, uh, uh, zoom out the camera a little bit, Terrence. Zoom out the camera. I, yeah, I'll do something. I'll at least get you aimed up right so you can see us. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, this is history like, making here. Oh, uh, well, we'll see if I can make some type of history, but I doubt it. We're, we are making history today. I, I, I mean, yeah. we, did, we did that 30 years ago, so I don't think I can really top that. On our channel, at least, because you know, people, 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 people like to... Uh, white and people like I feel, to like, I feel like we're, I feel like we're like uh, hanging out with them today, John. You are, you see? Here's yeah. my rig. This is my rig, John. This is what it's like tour with them, you know? It's like so you know what much I'm fun. Saying? I'm rocking that oh, thing. Wow. Nice, nice rig. Wow. Got a little Midas or Yamaha going, a whole bunch of plugs. Start fucking, blasting uh, some other, right, we're going to start playing some Lachon. <laughs> uh, let me see if Let's I do the Frank Frank I want to get it more, I want to get it more centered, but I mean, for me to actually move this webcam back no, is yeah, a yeah, nightmare. Yeah. But you know what? I'll just, I'll fucking we're going to try to, we'll give it a wing and we'll see what it, hey, it's going to sound raw. If it's going to blow up, we won't do it. But if it sounds All right, acceptable. There we go. That's a little bit. <laughs> What's that sound like? Is it loud? It's play, play for like about 15 seconds on the drum. <laughs> it, it cut out. It cuts out. What? It, it cuts out entirely yeah it actually it oh. actually totally cuts out. i was hoping it would adjust but it doesn't adjust all right so we're not Whoa. yeah there you go we sound like Whoa. Awesome. We're not doing nothing so. <laughs> that's a bummer we almost had a lot hey see charlie i couldn't i couldn't defeat it on zoom but I'm just on with you on yeah. fucking our uh facebook i feel like i'm the host of a heavy little one day llama here <laughs> they don't like us, man. They just want to compress us. Yeah, yeah, right now. Damn, yo, yo, I gotta get this uh fucking thing in there. So what's uh what's going on? No, I gotta read these. I'm putting these up. Yeah, I think we call this a wrap. No, we sounds like you said the whole thing. Yeah, it's awesome. It was awesome. I mean, I mean, wrap it up. It was awesome. I wrap, wrap. They might do a wrap. I'm not wrapping up anything. So I'm looking for some. So yeah, I guess your uh, no. What the hell's going on? Everybody just left. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's our new guest. Charlie, welcome to the Rock Fancy Files. How you doing, brother? Woo! I'm back, back in the helm now. Thank you guys for being so hospitable and bringing us into your practice hall. Does this yeah. does, this, does this room have a name? Is it the Crypt of Suffocation, or is it? A, uh, that's a that's a good name. Huh? Uh, this, is a, um, this guy's the house. biggest fucking troublemaker on the planet. This one right here. I just <laughs> 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 this guy not yet. yet. There's books, everybody. <laughs> It's just the story. We don't really. I don't know. It's a good idea though. We should make a. We should make a name for it. And I have to get hobs on that. That is the gravity. The way I do is you also wear your hob shirt except for hobs. Let's finish up the interview, boys. Boys, let's finish up the interview. I'm gonna finish it, man. I just need. All right. Yeah. So, um, is there? Uh, did you guys talk about everything you wanted to? What's going on? What's What's the deal? I kind of missed the whole thing. John, a question for a question for Charlie from you, John. <laughs> well, yeah. Just um, tell me something. I don't know anything. Four scores. I don't know, man. Ago. We just we just ask Charlie. Oh, ask Charlie who he was for Halloween. Oh who yeah, for Halloween. Oh, um, I was an old lady. That was a hit at the bar. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Head, <laughs> head <laughs> turning, turning bar. Literally yeah. head turning. Yep. Nightgown. <laughs> Rollers, pearl necklace, glasses. Purse. It was all pocket full, full beard, hairy legs. Great. Sounds great. 
that's a, that's a sure. fun fact, right? That's a fun yeah, I'm fact. sure you were a looker. Oh, uh, definitely. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, besides that, man, everything's just, uh, we're trying to prepare for this show. Next show coming up. And uh, trying to deal with these drunk lunatics over here. Yeah. <laughs> they even got me to pop. I'll be there. there. I'll be there. Celebrating 30 I'll years. Of I'll, I'm just late. I'll be just late to the party. Yeah. I'll be starting in a bit. No. You got to actually, because I mean, we talk every now and then. You know, we see each other at shows, and yeah, it's yeah. cool to be able to do an interview with you, wow. just like it is with you, John. As I said, you yeah. were next. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I ditched all the interviews just to do this one today so I could like actually yeah, have thank you very much and be able to talk with you guys. Well, and you guys, you guys get... happy yeah. belated well, Halloween. John, I think I just seen, didn't you guys just get on some sick tour? It was like you guys just put a tour out. You guys Nile, you guys do a tour, right? right? Nile, yeah. We're doing, we're yeah that's Nile. gonna be fun. That's that's gonna be that looks awesome, man. Hell yeah, congrats. Yeah, that'll be badass. Yeah, I'm really looking yeah. forward yeah. to getting back out on the road. What's the, isn't the opening band too? What is it? Is uh, oh. I don't know what they're called. Like the logo like, looks like silly about? string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. Kind of like Sao Sugar Bug or something? Yes, that's something like that. Yeah. I don't know how to say it properly. I don't know how to say it either. <laughs> but I've been I've been hearing that they've been uh, they've been they've been uh, getting some attention lately. So yeah, actually they just played uh, a city over from me on Winston Salem the other night and they killed it live. I was really surprised how yeah. killer it sounded. You know. I haven't, looked, I haven't looked too much into it, but I think it's it's like some younger guys just playing some older Yeah, kind of it's stuff. kind of like, you know, it has that old school death metal vibe. It has a lot of like mortician heaviness to it, you know, where you just yeah. have that, dun, 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 you know, it's, yeah. it's brutal I shit. I notice a lot of these bands What's now are doing shit? this like that slow, like I don't even want to like, you know, that slow circle pit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the younger kids are getting into that like slower, like real slow. Yeah, I've been noticing that one. Like, that's pretty cool. But yeah, it seems like everyone's going for that like trashy kind of like blast sound. And it's pretty, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. that was good. They were good. They were they were really good live. It was them and um, Frozen Soul played. Uh -huh. They're a good band too. They sound a, a lot like Bolt Thrower, like old Bolt Thrower or something, you know. Sick. And what's that? Uh, what's the other opening band on that tour? That besides you? A band called I Am. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, yeah. they're sick. Yeah, they're good, man. They're oh yeah, heavy. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're real heavy. Yeah, they're. Like, yeah. I would. I don't know. I guess more towards the hardcore kind of like yeah. slammy beat down like type of stuff. Yeah, well, that's what they wanted to have a, a kind of diverse bill, like brutal bands, but all kind of yeah. different flavor to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's a, it's a good band. mix. Different genres, yeah. pick up on your shit, you know, that way. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and the order cool. in which it's placed is a good way to mix it up. In my opinion. I think it's going <laughs> to be sick. I think it's going to be sick. Yeah, it should be sick. I saw it, I was like, oh, man, that's a... <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah, people have been really digging it. The vibe's been great on it, so... It's going to be cool. Yeah, for cool. sure. You, you, guys, you guys working on or have a U.S. tour coming up or something? Uh, or something you can talk about? I don't think um, so, yeah. I'm not. I'm not really sure. That would be more. Yeah, uh, we're kind of just trying to get through these past these couple shows, and then we have yeah. that thing in February with Belfagor. Yeah. And uh, after that is really kind of up just in like the air. up in the air right now. Like, yeah, like, just trying to make up that Belfagor fiasco yeah. last year or two years. Yeah, it's two we, years yeah. ago. Yeah. It's five. Yeah. Yeah. We well, we stopped there. halfway through, so we figured we got to finish it up and yeah, uh, and add a couple and then add a week or two. Might as well while we're over there. That was yeah, around the same time. That was around the same period, John, that you guys were on the road with Belfagor and Hate in the States, too, right? It was around that same time. That was like right after. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right after that. Well, that was um that, that was the Devastation on Nation tour we did. That was in June or May or June of 19, I think it was. 2019 or 20. Yeah, yeah. So. I forget. I'm all screwed up with my years now. With yeah, yeah, yeah I <laughs> fucking COVID fucked everything up. Yeah, man. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it was 2019, and then we did that Morbid Angel tour with uh, Watain and us, and then we did this thing with these guys in Mexico, which was totally insane. Yeah, that was rad. Yeah, that was fun, man. What a blast we had on that tour. Luke, 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 Luke. Come yeah, on, Luke. Luke. <laughs> he was yeah. fucking hammered up. I, got oh, I know. He was, he was so hammered. I can't remember what city it was, but Oh. He just, yeah, he just got out of he just got out of our vehicle and just like 
found his way to somebody's room and just yeah. passed out on someone's bed. Yeah. I don't even know. I remember that. I remember that. We, me, Chuck, and Luke, we drank the whole time to that show. We got him fucked up. And this, this, is like, this is like 11 in the morning or something. Yeah. Like that. It was like, yeah, we yeah. like at eight. It was a we long drive, and we just said, fuck it. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> 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 I missed that laugh, John. That was fun, man. We had a blast. You gotta do it again, bro. We gotta do it again. Yeah, for sure. I definitely look forward to doing something with you guys in the future. Absolutely. Yeah. Charlie, how about a question for you? I mean, uh, of course, you know, you're the new guy still, kinda, and you're replacing Frank. Oh, you're talking about um no, talking about Ricky, not Charlie. Charlie, yeah. Ricky, Ricky. Ricky. Ricky, I'm sorry, yeah. So I, other I'm mixing it all up. I'm not, they got me drunk already. See, I, 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 like, <laughs> one, of, I, I, one of you. What are, what's a couple songs uh, that you perform? You know that you like that love to perform out of out of the out of the catalog that you guys are doing live or just something that really. Let's make it more fun. What song do you hate doing? Which one really sucks? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Tell you the truth, uh, I, I like all of them. I've been a fan for Suffo since I was a kid, you know? So me to play effigy songs is really special for me yep. because I, you know, Same I never here. thought that that would ever happen for me. So yeah. it, those, those are very special for me when I play those songs. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think the stuff he did in Discord is really influenced by suffocation too. So you definitely were already in that pocket, you know? Yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were huge. They were a huge, they were a huge, a huge influence like, on Discord. Happened, uh, the biggest influence, actually. <laughs> yeah. We based everything around suffocation, really. Every band I did before yeah. suffocation. You didn't even sound like us. You didn't even sound like us, bro. Well, the chunks, maybe. No, you didn't even sound like us, though. I mean, you were ripping. We got blast beats. I got blast beats. I mean, they were more uh, legible than we like, were guys, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Threw the Cali style on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, Tried yeah, to make yeah. it our own. Yep. But it worked out, though. But yeah, yeah those, those are uh, it's special to be up there with these guys and shit. You know, I'm honored to be a part of this band and film take yeah. big shoes. But years, you know, yeah. years later. Years later, like, never thought that would happen. But uh, here I am. Yeah, it's been great, man. And the new stuff yeah. is coming out so sick. So we're really stoked on it. Man. Yeah, dude, it's been a total honor to have you guys give your time to the channel today. And I think it's been a lot of fun. I, I can see you guys are itching to get back up there and play some songs. Well, and... well they're going to yeah. sit here and bullshit with you while I uh, put microphones away. And stuff oh, okay. I mean, we can wrap it up pretty soon if you want to <laughs> so, go. You know, you know, you guys, I'm trying to hang yeah, out yeah, and party yeah. and have a conversation while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, well, yeah, we're, about start, we're about to start jamming in a minute. So yeah, we're, so uh, we're, we'll let you go pretty soon. But I want to, you know, reach out to all of our viewers to please go out and support Suffocation during these uh, times. We're playing some yeah. gigs finally for the first time since they had to fly home from fucking where Switzerland or whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's mess, and they've been home for what twenty months now. So they, could use, they could use you to go on to the website. Buy a couple shirts, or you know, yeah, buy yeah, like, yeah. some vinyl yeah, or something yeah. that's just come to the shows. Come to the shows. Yep. Yeah. We would like to, to see get back out. Buy, buy, buy a grinder from Terrence. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> 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 hmm. Yo, man, Steve, it's always a pleasure to hang out and talk to you, buddy. Yeah, I and think we'll that's been a, a really sooner or later. We're just biding our time. Yeah, we'll touch base. We'll touch base. Yeah, and yeah, uh, cool. good, good to see you no, too, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. Uh, we'll see, gonna, yeah. I'll see you in Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta, so I'll see you there. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Happy, happy 30th anniversary yeah, to yeah, Suffocation, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, 30 yeah, more. Man. Awesome, Thank man. Thank you guys, man. Thank Thank you guys, always, always a pleasure to talk to you guys. Absolutely, man. All right, yeah. so Take if care. you guys like, if you like what's going on on Rock Fantasy Files, take a moment to subscribe and mention your love for suffocation in the comments, your yeah. favorite songs, your concert experiences. Yeah. Which and, one is the most handsome suffocation guy? The, who's box. the most handsome? Yes. <laughs> who's the, and who's the coolest guy? I don't know about that. Too. <laughs> all right guys you stay safe and good luck at the uh, good luck doing these shows and hopefully you guys get back out and got some yeah. normalcy yeah, yeah. Be well, well, you, guys. Guys. you guys later man see you, love you man. Man. Atlanta. we'll get up there see you soon and john <laughs> and Lana, we're getting you drunk see you take care drinking and suffocation right, go together <laughs>